Hey everyone, how are you? Pla Schneider here. I know we're a few minutes late. I'm sorry about that, but I'm super happy that you're here. And again, we're talking about our Americana Decor DIY paints. As you know, we have our chalky finish, our metallics, our matte metallics, our satin enamels. But today we're talking about one of my all-time favorites, which is our Americana Decor Color Stain. And what's really fun about these is, of course, we have the traditional brown, which is this lovely chocolate color. You can see that here and right over here. But we also have a bunch of fun colors. Um, so it's really fun to experiment with color and match the decor, you know, in your patio or backyard. And of course, we do have a giveaway. Just mention what you may like to color stain, you know, a bench, um, a crate like I'm doing here even a terracotta pot, whatever you may want to color stain. So I am showing here a very, very basic application. I'm using an angled brush, but any medium flat brush works just fine. And I'm going to paint this entire side. Uh, what's really nice about these color stains is they do have a long open time, uh, which means you will have some time to go ahead and wipe this back before it totally dries and soaks completely into the wood. Now this is the navy, which is very, very pretty. And you'll see how different it looks once I wipe it back. And I'm applying a fairly generous amount of color stain. And I am going in the direction of the wood grain. It's okay to go back and forth. You just want to make sure to go in the direction of the wood grain. So the next step is you're going to take a clean dry rag. And you do want it to be a lighter color. Um, with this dark navy, it's not as important, but with your lighter colors, you don't want perhaps any dye in the cloth to transfer over. So I just have a plain white dry cloth and I'm gonna wipe it back. And that starts to reveal the really, really pretty, um, gr you know, the wood grain, but leaving a really nice amount of color as well. And I did wanna point out the softer you wipe back, the more saturated the color is going to look. And then the firmer you wipe, the more of that you're going to take off and you're going to lighten it. Now, if you wanted to take that a step further, what you could do is saturate your cloth and then wring it out. And a wet cloth will wipe back even more, as you can see. So really, it's just personal preference. Another thing is, if you look at it and you say, well, perhaps that's too much. Perhaps I took off too much. You can always apply another coat. And I'll go ahead and do that up here so you can see the difference between one coat and two coats. I personally like it on the lighter side so you could really see the wood grain, but it's completely up to you. And I will use a dry cloth for this part. Okay. Can you see that really well, or do you want me to tip it just a bit? Yeah, tip it over. Really well. Okay. So you could see this is um, two coats here. That's wiped back firmly with a dry cloth, and that's wiped back with a damp cloth. Or that's also a way to do an ombre effect. Another awesome thing is that this is completely, we're gonna have to go up here because that side's <laughs> This is completely self-sealing, so you do not need to put a sealer over it, which is great for outdoor use. Um, it's not completely weatherproof, but it's definitely weather resistant. I can't pull the tape with this glove on. Give me just a <laughs> sec. I'm just gonna show you another fun little technique. Uh, if you wanted some geometric shapes, or perhaps you just want some stripes, 
I'm just gonna take some masking tape. And I painted this part yesterday. So I'm going over the part that I already painted. And I'm gonna press that down nice and firm to get a very clean line. And I'm gonna put my glove back on in just a sec. And the reason for the glove is because, you know, when you're working with the rag, your hands can get pretty painy. So the trick here is I want to paint in this direction. I don't want to paint over that or the direction of the masking tape itself or the painter's tape, I should say, just to ensure that it doesn't seep through underneath. So that's nice and firm, firmly pressed down. And I'm taking my brush and I'm brushing this direction. So this navy is really pretty for, you know, high-end decor or perhaps seaside. Um, in a second, I'll show you what we have on the side here, which to me really looks like a pretty uh, cottage core look with the light fern and the chocolate color. And you can see how wet the paint is. Again, this is intentional to give you plenty of time to wipe it back. And for those of you who are just joining us, let us know what you would like to color stain and you will be automatically entered to win three full size jars, three eight ounce jars of our color stain. And the colors are a surprise, so that's always fun. You don't know what you're gonna get, but I, it will be fun colors, that's for sure. Okay, so next I would just take the rag again and wipe in this direction. And then once you're done wiping that back, you're just gonna go ahead and lift up that painter's tape. And I'll flip it over in just a sec. And you have this really, really clean line. And of course you would do that all the way around. And then also paint uh, completely or color stain inside. And I would even do the bottom if this is for outdoor use, because remember, this is self-sealing. So I'm going to set that aside. And I did want to talk about this because I think it's so cute. These colors together are just so cute. And they remind me of like a cottage core aesthetic. It's the light fern with the chocolate. And here's a really pretty ombre effect, which is also very easy to achieve. And then of course, over there you have the traditional chocolate, which is what you're used to seeing. But I really like that we have both the traditional colors, like we have a really pretty gray, and then of course the chocolate. But then we also have some really fun colors. Now, if you look up behind me, there's this really pretty, oh, it's on this side. <laughs> it's on this side. It's a really pretty decor that you can absolutely use outside because again, the color stains are water resistant. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's extremely easy, but we'll use different colors so it doesn't look exactly like that one there. And for this, because I am gonna be using the same brush and sort of mixing the colors, I'm not gonna dip directly into the jar. I am gonna use a paper plate or you can use a palette, whatever. And I'm just gonna start, this really pretty wood panel, by the way, uh, we got it at Walnut Hollow. They have several different designs but I'm just brushing it on and I'm not being careful with the frame part because that I wanna paint afterwards with just a, a regular paint, not a stain. And see, I'm using my brush 
almost straight up and down to get into all of the into that design that's recessed there. And I'm just going to sort of hop over here. But what I really like about this is you can create a really beautiful work of art fairly quickly. And of course you could do this in all one color, but I think it's a lot funner and a lot more interesting to do two different colors. And I'm not being very careful on where I place the colors. It's extremely random. But I love that once you're done and you wipe it back, that you can really see the beautiful wood grain. Because sometimes you want to add a pop of color to something that you have that's wood, but you definitely want to still be able to see that wood grain. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the green, and I am not rinsing the brush. There's really no need when you're doing this type of art. We even want those colors to blend just a little bit. And the one behind me is a lot more subtle just because it's two blues. This one's gonna be a little bit more contrasting, but really, really pretty. And as you can see, I'm being fairly generous with that color stain. And I am picking up some of that blue as we go, but that's exactly what we want. We don't want really hard lines or hard edges. And we're gonna need just a little bit more of that green. And of course you can do this on any type of wood panel, any design that you like, any design that you may already have, or just even plain wood that does not have a design on it. Okay, I think we got most of it. If not, you can always go back in, which is nice. And the next step is to just take a rag. I'll saturate it just a little bit. And you're gonna start to wipe that paint back. Okay, for the next step, you're simply gonna blend it out a little bit by mixing the two colors together and just going in and sort of blending it out. So I'm not going over, you know, the whole thing, just certain areas here. And then we're gonna end up, of course, wiping it back again. Okay. Oh, I should put my 
glove back on for that. That part can get a little bit messy, but it's fun to get messy, right? Now, of course, I mentioned we're not really gonna worry too much about the frame because in the end, what we're gonna do is paint it. And I'm not gonna do that now because I would wait for that to dry. But if you can peek at the one right over here, you know, this one looks a little bit unfinished, but once you paint the frame in a beautiful white or black or whatever happens to go with your decor, then it will look really nice and finished. But you can see how fast that went. And I really like, this one's a really high contrast. So it's just, you know, your personal preference. Okay, I also wanted to go over other surfaces that you can use the color stains on. Of course, it works on wood. Uh, it also works on terracotta. So as you can see, that cute little pot there. Let's see, we'll pick, we'll pick, we'll use this color that we sort of mixed. That's another really great thing is the color stains that are intermixable. And for this, I would use a chip brush, which is this brush that um, the bristles are very stiff and they're very jagged. And on the terracotta pot, you, you can wipe it back or you can just simply brush it on and let it dry. And this is a very, very subtle look. You're still gonna be able to see that terracotta through the color stain. And I am brushing in one direction. I'm not going, uh, you know, vertically. I'm just going horizontally across. But you can see how pretty that looks and very subtle. So if you are just joining us, remember to leave a comment. Let us know what you would color stain. Uh, you know, wood bench, a terracotta pot, uh, some artwork, some little crates, and you will be automatically entered to win three different full-size jars, three different really fun colors, and the winner will be announced on Monday. So if you're watching us on replay, still go ahead and feel free to leave a comment. Now I would do the bottom and the inside as well because you want it to be completely sealed. Because remember, this is self-sealing and it is totally weather resistant. So I'll set that over here by this one. So again, you can choose colors according to your decor. I really love the way the light fern lo looks with the chocolate. Um, over here, of course, we have the navy, the chambray, and the turquoise. So you can completely customize the color stains to your art, you know, your own personal decor. Okay, guys, um, good luck to everyone. Thanks for being here and see you next time on DecoArts Facebook Live. Bye.